as in the introduction uh, our director has already pointed out now we are in the actually celebration of 75th anniversary of our independence as well as we are also celebrating the 100 years of our existence of icr uh, in this connection actually a series of uh, lectures have been arranged by our institute and in the continuation today i have been given the opportunity to uh, deliver a talk on the good farming a viable enterprise for entrepreneurship development in andaman and nicobar island as you all know that uh, goat is one of the very uh, most valuable uh, domesticated animal not only in this part of uh, uh, means uh, island throughout the world so just i will talk about the origin and uh, like uh, domestication way back is it started in the neolithic uh, age that is around 10000 to almost 11000 years back and it is uh, as per the document it has been uh, actually found that uh, goat is one of the oldest animal to be domesticated by the human actually of that uh, era followed by sheep cattle pig and draft animal horses and asses like that actually it belongs to the genus capra earlier actually that uh, wild species that is the agagoras and the subspecies now it is capra uh, agagoras and the hircus and the present domesticated goat that is the capra hircus is adapted from the wild bizarre abex actually uh, that was uh, termed as the capra agagoras mainly it was found in the western asia so that uh, we, we can say that the origin is mainly uh, that part of the world almost 10000 to 11000 years ago and the farmers of that uh, neolithic era they used to keep this small herds of the ibex for mainly to meet out the requirement of the milk meat dung skin hair because they used to because uh, that neolithic era actually that is we can say that the stone age uh, people and uh, the farming also started uh, in that era and you can see there are a lot of uh, uh, documentary evidences of the you, you can see domestication of the goat it has also been found in the harappa uh, civilization you can see some toys here uh, uh, depicted in the picture also and the two seals from the mohenjodaro civilization that part also showed a, a wild bizarre goat with enormous curled horns and a beard a domestic male goat with side spreading horns actually this uh, actually signifies the importance of goat since uh, uh, that era and uh, that is, is still continuing and uh, throughout the world actually now more than 1000 uh, million goats are scattered almost uh, Uh, all parts of the world and it is found in all, almost all the continent except in the antarctica and in the quite astonishing range of the environment dry uh, hot desert uh, it, uh, that means actually it is mainly found in almost all part except in the antarctica that means it can uh, bear the very hot climate also it can bear the very cold climate also even in the island uh, condition also and uh, even in the barren island goat also it has been uh, yeah, uh, found and india's uh, presently uh, almost i think uh, 34 goats have been recognized as the specific breed and uh, uh, has been registered as one of the unique uh, breed from different parts of our state but still there are a lot of uh, Uh, jump plasm available in india in many parts of the states actually which uh, for which actually work has to be carried out for registration and for identification and giving a unique characteristics of this specific uh, uh, jump plasm and there are more than 1000 adapted breeds in existence and almost 90% of the goats are found in the developing uh, countries mainly you can see the mainly the population is mainly found in the as india is leading in the population and followed by china and the pakistan mainly uh, you can see uh, it is mainly dominated in the asia and the african uh, countries and you can see the as per the fao the population world population <coughs> growing very exponentially right from the uh, 61 to almost now 2020 more than 1000 million population and this is the actually uh, in this slide you can see the different types of the distribution of the goat world over you can see here almost 50 8% of the total population is mainly found in the asian uh, subcontinent and uh, followed by 35% in the africa and uh, others in the europe america and other parts of the world similarly uh, compared to the breed wise as i said actually in india we have uh, characterized only 34 however when you see the other uh, uh continent uh, there are a lot of uh, breeds available and which has already been characterized so there is a good scope for uh, characterization of the different jump plasm from different parts of our india 
So just to say uh, what is the advantage, as I said, actually, this is a very hardy breed. It can uh, sustain any time of uh, year, uh, climate, harsh climate, whether it is a, a hot climate or the cold climate, it can thrive very well in any type of the climatic condition and it can efficiently survive on any type of the available shrub and trees in adverse harsh environment. And it can easily convert that harsh uh, available shrub into a, in terms of the good quality protein and the good quality uh, milk and the meat. And the greatest value of the contribution of the milk in meat is towards the impact on the rural health and nutrition because it is a, said that it is mainly uh, reared by the poor uh, men's actually. That's why it is also termed as the poor men's cow. So this uh, we can say that one of the greatest asset of the mainly rural uh, uh, actually farmers. And the initial investment needed for the goat enterprise or the goat uh, industry is very low compared to the other uh, livestock sector and which provides low risk and definite source of income because uh, that's why it is also termed as the anytime machine. Suppose farmers are in need of some money, they can easily sell and get the ready cash. That's why it is termed as the uh, low risk and their definite source of income. An important component of efficiency in the use of existing resources of mixed or the integrated farming system model because uh, uh, IFS has been uh, considered as one of the uh, uh, one of one of the actually best uh, farming system uh, model not only uh, in the island but in the coastal and other parts of the uh, coastal uh, zone also and uh, uh, different agroecological zones and uh, this goat uh, component can easily be accommodated into any kind of the agroecological integrated farming system model and it is one of the prolific breed and achieve sexual maturity at the age of very early, that is the eight and eight to 12 months. And it has got a short generation interval and queening is also uh, very common. And both male and female get, uh, would have got equal value. And uh, uh, another very good advantage of goat rearing is that it, uh, there is no religious trouble like uh, in case of the uh, cattle and case of the pig, like other animal for goat rearing, it has got no uh, religious trouble. That is the biggest advantage. Another important uh, quality is that actually meat is uh, uh, more lean. That means it has got a low cholesterol content and more preferred over the mutton because of its chewability. Actually, uh, goat meat is generally termed as the uh, shivan and uh, uh, that uh, sheep meat is termed as the uh, mutton. And ample scope for goat meat and milk products and the value addition to skin and fiber. As you know that uh, there's a very good demand and scope for the goat milk and the milk because a lot of uh, demand is there in the European country. And uh, from India also, huge quantity of milk is being exported to uh, that part of the world for preparation of the good quality of the cheese because uh, uh, the cheese made out of this uh, goat is having very good uh, quality and the texture. Goat milk is easy to digest. That's why it is being uh, generally it is uh, uh, given to the uh, elderly people as well as the uh, young actually children to digest easily because the fat globules are small in size and uh, there is no allergy and has anti and uh, uh, the milk also had got a lot of uh, this antimicrobial property like antifungal, antiviral, and anti allergic also. And uh, during the uh, actually time of the dengue, uh, the goat uh, uh, demand uh, will be very increased actually. In, in Delhi, actually, we used to hear that uh, the goat meat is used to sell about rupees 1000 to 1500 per liter. That much demand is there actually because it has got a lot of antiviral property also. And goat is also termed as the walking refrigerator for the storage of the milk and can be milked number of times in a day. And goat uh, milk would uh, yield uh, good quality cheese, as I have already uh, described. And the importance of the goat has already been understood by our uh, father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. In this picture, you can uh, see actually he used to uh, rear uh, this goat in his uh, farm and he used to consume the goat uh, milk. So uh, the importance uh, you can see the uh, recognized by our uh, uh, great uh, father of uh, nation and uh, as I said actually the milk is very rich in immunoglobulins that way it has got a lot of uh, medicinal value and the properties and uh, just to give a glimpse of the good production in the India 
As per the census 2019, the population is 148 million, which shows there has been a good increase in the 10% over the previous census. However, when we compare to the other livestock sector, almost other livestock sector, there was a negative trend in the growth. However, when we see the goat population, it's a good growth, almost 10% over the previous census. And it is a multifunctional animal and plays a significant role in the economy. Almost, uh, you can see here, 4.2% uh, of the rural employment to the small marginal and the farmer landlords uh, laborers. Almost, it gives 4.2%, means uh, uh, rural employment to the small marginal and the farmer. They are directly dependent on this uh, uh, goat farming, which generate a flow of the uh, employment and providing supplementary income to almost 70 million farmers they are directly or indirectly dependent on this uh, uh, goat farming for their additional or the supplementary income and as i said goat meat is known as the shivan and almost uh, uh, the growth rate is uh, uh, quite okay uh, 2.6% point uh, 6 million tons with a growth rate of almost 2.6% and you can see it also contributes a uh, quite a good uh, contribution, almost 8.4% to the India's livestock uh, GDP uh, through the meat, milk, skin, manure, and uh, other like skin and the heights. And our country stands first in the goat uh, milk production also, and is the second largest uh, meat producer in the world uh, next to the China uh, and uh, share about 26% of the goat milk as well as 10% of the total goat meat production of the world. However, uh, when we see the ICMR uh, recommendation and the requirement of the uh, meat, that is the as per the ICMR recommendation, we need to have 30 gram per person per day. However, as per the present uh, availability is only 15 gram. So there is a good scope uh, uh, to increase the productivity of the uh, meat of this uh, goat uh, through scientific breeding management and disease management. So it has already been uh, described in the National Action Plan of the 2022 also to increase the production and the productivity of the goat and the goat farming sector to meet out the increased consumption demand of the chivan and the goat milk and organization of the sector and development of agripreneurship. So there in the document also, it has been clearly mentioned that we have to promote more and more development of the agripreneurship and the entrepreneurship to double the farming income. And goat farming is one of the, uh, I can say is the sector through which we can easily uh, double the income of the farmer uh, and uh, we have already uh, established and described uh, uh, this sector in the Andaman Nicobar Island and what are the key areas of doubling the farmer income through this goat uh, farming or the goat entrepreneurship or the goat industry like improvement in the productivity of the animal we have to go for uh, improvement in the productivity of the animal resources use efficiency or saving in course of the production because now it is actually day by day the resources are limiting the natural resources so we have to use the whatever available resources in a very efficient manner uh, to achieve the optimum production or the sustain uh, the production level increasing the production intensity we have to uh, work on and diversification towards high value product value addition because uh, as i said uh, the almost uh, like meat milk skin even urine and the fecal material everything uh, is being utilized for uh, different uh, purposes so we have to go for the value addition as well as the post harvest processing of the different uh, products of this board to achieve the doubling the farming income so these are some of the glimpses of the different uh, breeds available in uh, our oh. uh, just to uh, give a glimpse of the good production in this island actually our island has got a very less population almost uh, uh, as per the census, hardly 64,602 uh, population of which actually 42% uh, of the total livestock population and uh, male goat is around 24,000 and female is around 42,000 and total household rearing goat is almost only 18% uh, and number of goat slaughter per year is 8,200 number. Here uh, in this island also, we are deficient in uh, actually meat uh, production as well as the meat uh, uh, requirement also uh, when we compare to the ICMR recommendation of the 30 gram per head per day. And uh, the goat meat production is hardly 150 ton 
compared to the requirement of around 300 to 400 tons per year. So there is a huge scope to increase the productivity as well as the production in this island also. And flock size also varies from 4 to 63. However, average when we take, uh, it comes around 13 percent. Majority of the uh, jump plus available in this island are actually Andaman local goat, uh, Teresa goat, Malabari goat, and some uh, uh, of its process. And one of the island that is the volcanic island, barren island goat is also available. The present population, uh, we don't know the status. Uh, this is the actually, you can see the here socioeconomic profile, which we are uh, studying almost uh, from the 366 uh, uh, farm family. You can see almost 50-50 uh, yeah, uh, women and the main farmers, they are uh, rearing the goat and the, as I said, range from 4 to 63, but the average block size is around 13%. And uh, almost like uh, mainland situation here also, uh, this uh, small and the uh, uh, margin uh, small and the marginal farmer they are uh, mostly rearing this uh, goat and uh, uh, the annual income from the goat is approximately sixty to seventy thousand. So what are the actually advantages, constraints, and challenges uh, for goat rearing in this island actually? And uh, the advantage is like that actually well adapted to the island condition. Whatever jumplasm available in the island, they are well adapted. Widely distributed throughout the Andaman Island. Uh, you can see the goat from the uh, Nicobar also in the middle Andaman, South Andaman, everywhere, all parts of the island constitute an important productive asset of the landless. As I said, this is one of the, uh, they are, it's like an asset for the landless marginal and the smallholders. And it generates a flow of income as well as the uh, employment uh, opportunity throughout the uh, year uh, for the farm family as well as for the other laborers also and high demand for shivan in this and because always uh, uh, there is a huge demand that's why in the market uh, the present uh, uh, rate of uh, chivan is almost 900 to 1000 rupees per kg this itself shows that uh, there is a huge uh, uh, demand in the market for uh, goat meat and the, what are the constant actually like the productivity is very low when we compare to the other breeds like there are some good breeds available in the island uh, other parts of the india but uh, when we compare to the andaman local goat and the terrace that uh, the productivity is very low and uh, uh, that uh, itself is uh, like uh, because of the poor germplasm lack of sufficient breeding animal because there is always a lack uh, mean sufficient breeding animal because generally it, the tendency is that actually farmer they used to sell the goat when they attain almost maturity or nine or the 10 month uh, with the, for that reason actually there is a lack of sufficient breeding bucks and low grazing area socioeconomic condition of the farmers lack of adaption of the scientific farmer generally they don't rear in the full uh, scientific uh, uh, housing scientific management uh, disease management, so lack of awareness also of about the recent technologies, poor extension support, limited commercialization of the goat farming. Very few farmers, uh, uh, maybe I think uh, right now, maybe uh, 10 or 15, uh, some good farmers are there. They are uh, rearing in a good uh, means uh, commercially scale. Otherwise, people are uh, means farmer are mostly rearing under backward condition. And like challenges are decreasing the number of the breedable male and the reduction in the total population. This is one of the greatest challenges, not only this part, other parts of the India also. And generally farmers are, as I said, they used to sell the goats when they attend eight to nine months. These are the diversity of the germplasm available uh, in this uh, island. You can say here, this is the Andaman local goat. It uh, looks like uh, uh, black Bengal goat, goat but uh, when we compare the black bengal goat the height of this andaman local goat is quite good and the, the second photograph is uh, uh, teresa goat uh, this is the only breed which has been registered uh, by nba agr and uh, and down is the photograph of the malabari goat and this is the photograph of uh, barren island goat this is the barren island that is the only volcanic island in the india and you can see in this photograph our Ex uh, director Dr. SPS Ahlawa and uh, our uh, two technical staff actually, uh, way back I think in 1991 actually, they collected this barren island boat and brought to our farm and uh, uh, we did some experiment but uh, it could not uh, sustain. And down is the some process of other germplasm. So these are the germplasm available. So this is the Andaman local boat. You can say this uh, resemble Black Bengal. Actually, what happened actually when uh, Peters is uh, they, they started the penal settlement and the uh, uh, 
uh, this uh, rehabilitation of the uh, prisoners actually uh, that time actually to meet the requirement of the meat uh, milk uh, and the uh, yeah, protein requirement actually they uh, started uh, this the goat farming cattle farming as well as the poultry farming with that actually they brought these animals from uh, mainly from the west bengal and orissa coast actually and over the period of time actually this uh, jamplasm has adapted itself and uh, and uh, now we are calling this jamplasm as the andaman local uh, goat and uh, almost three variants are available but mostly this is a uh, black is very common almost 80 to 85 percent of the population are black and uh, some brown and the white uh, mix is also available and short to medium size and prolific uh, twin and triplets are also very common and this is the under actually aicrp goat uh, project actually we are studying the enhancing the productivity of the jump plaza and over the years uh, uh, we have uh, recorded and found that the birth weight is almost 1.4 and at the time of uh, this uh, 12 month that is the adult body weight is around, around 162 kilo so uh, this table i just wanted to show that uh, uh, with good scientific intervention in the breeding uh, policy uh, we can easily enhance the productivity of this gemplasm otherwise uh, in farmer actually field uh, we are getting 14 to maybe sometime 13 kilo body weight even 14 uh, 13 to 15 kilo but with the scientific intervention and the breeding uh, management and uh, disease management we, we can easily achieve the good body weight at 12 month and uh, six month also and uh, heritability and genetic correlation also we have uh, estimated and we have found that actually six months is the suitable actually age for selection of this uh, goat actually and uh, generally it has been uh, proved that for selection of the uh, sh means uh, the short type of breed actually six month body weight is uh, advisable or suitable and for large breed nine months is suitable but uh, we have uh, found that uh, 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 six months is also suitable and nine months is also suitable but we are advising the farmer to go for the selection at the age of the six month and this is the reproduction uh, uh, performance uh, also actually earlier we used to get uh, a lot of uh, this getting a uh, uh, time interval because uh, to achieve good uh, reproductive efficiency we should uh, uh, reduce the getting interval and the uh, service period also so that intervention also we are uh, doing because uh, sometime as i said actually there is a non availability of the good breeding uh, bugs in the field actually uh, with that actually under the project actually we are introducing the superior bug uh, with that uh, farmers uh, now could able to uh, go for a breeding of their uh, dose at the appropriate time so that feeding time interval can easily be reduced and these are the, some of the glimpses of the local uh, actually goat, how farmers used to rear actually. As I said, actually, no scientific way you can see simply uh, just uh, a side of the house, they are uh, uh, putting some uh, actually uh, shed and the thatch like that actually they are uh, uh, rearing. Very few farmers actually they are uh, constructing the shed, otherwise uh, they mostly they are rearing in a non-scientific manner. And you can see here different types of housing, how they are maintaining. Uh, some more uh, examples and the photograph feeding also uh, no scientific feeding actually mm -hmm. sometime actually they used to get uh, earlier uh, wheat and some broken rice uh, under this PDS uh, system now that has also, uh, uh, that has been actually stopped and uh, discontinued by the government now uh, they are giving some hardly some broken rice and uh, no balance concentrate no supplementation of the mineral mixture sometimes uh, due to overfeeding during festival season because goat is this type of animal that when you give two kilo uh, feed also it has got the uh, means habit to eat at a time and uh, so only they are depending on the grazing and the feeding of sometimes the tree fodder and the tree leaves and health also no regular deworming farmers are not coming forward for treatment because uh, generally diseases are not prevalent that's why farmers are also not aware and not coming forward for uh, taking any uh, veterinary care and vaccination again uh, other than fmd not uh, no other vaccination is being practiced and marketing is also done through middlemen and sold on the basis of the size but not on the basis of the weight because that also gives a lot of actually uh, loss to the farmer because a farmer when they start uh, this uh, uh, sitting on the basis of the weight they will get a very good uh, profit and they as per actually record no cooperative society for goat 
uh, is being uh, yeah, presently available. And this is the market scenario of the marketing system. You can see sometimes farmer they are selling uh, directly to the uh, consumer, sometimes to the wholesaler or the middleman. So there is not a structured uh, marketing uh, channel. We can see some uh, like you can see. And as I said, actually, uh, demand is very high, almost 300 uh, now, maybe 400 tons uh, demand is there, but uh, the availability is very less. And uh, another very good uh, area of uh, marketing is army because uh, almost uh, as uh, this island is uh, strategically located and a lot of army establishment is there. So there is a good scope to uh, sell this uh, uh, goat meat to the army. So that itself shows almost 45 to 50 tons per year demand itself alone for the army alone. And this is second uh, breed uh, which has already been registered by NBHR. This is called the Teresa. In Nicobar, it is called the Pukre. This is mainly found in the actually southern group of the island that is the Nicobari. And this is one of the actually you can say asset of the tribal people actually. And uh, this has got very peculiar characteristic you can see here actually uh, from the uh, white uh, patches uh, uh, from the inner canthus of the eyes to the nostril and uh, height is also very good and uh, uh, 12 month body weight is also very good uh, compared to the Andaman local board and uh, almost it attains uh, 50 to 60 kilo body weight when it attains the age of almost three to four years. So this also very good uh, actually breed available in this island However, the population is very less, less than uh, 10,000, maybe hardly now seven or 8,000. And as I said, very good uh, performance, one year body weight, you can see here, male almost 22, 23 kilo, uh, compared to the Andaman local goat, which gives only 15 to 16 kilo. <clears throat> and this is another goat, uh, feral goat. Uh, uh, you can see here the volcanic uh, eruption in the uh, barren island, actually. Uh, uh, this is in, in this uh, below this photograph actually these two photographs uh, we collected uh, this jump blossom from uh, Baron Allen brought to our institute and they did some e experiment by supplementing different uh, combination of the fresh water as well as the uh, salt water but uh, this uh, uh, actually goats they could not uh, ex actually sustain and uh, it was actually there is a myth that actually this goat they used to uh, take uh, this saline water uh, but uh, in the barren island, it has been seen that there are some fresh water stream and uh, the succulent uh, fodders are also available, uh, which is giving the fresh water source for this uh, uh, goat. However, uh, the present estimate and the population after a tsunami is not uh, known and not estimated. And this is another goat Malabari. This is a, actually a breed of the Kerala, which has been introduced by Department of Animal Husbandry to increase the productivity of the local goat uh, way back uh, during the seventh five-year plan. And mainly this, uh, uh, the Andaman Nicobar uh, Department, they are uh, promoting this uh, goat for, uh, because the climatic condition of uh, Kerala and Island is quite uh, similar. And another uh, in our uh, uh, actually institute, we attempted and uh, did a successful cross of the boar cross uh, with our Andaman local goat. And the F1, we could get almost 25% uh, uh, percent high body weight increase. You can see the this is the F1 actually goat showing typical characteristics of the boar cross. And this was uh, work was uh, done by many Dr. Uh, uh, Jay Kumar who is uh, animal reproduction now, he is presently uh, in the NDRA uh, uh, Bangalore. And this is the some of the uh, photograph how he how he actually did animal local uh, goat with the boy uh, cross and uh, got the almost 25% good success. And this was transferred to the field. But the main uh, thing is the adaptability of uh, this uh, uh, breed in the field actually. Uh, when we compare the adaptability and the disease incidence, this is uh, found that uh, it is not uh, as adaptable as Andaman local goat and the Teresa goat. That's why we discontinued uh, this uh, gemplasm and to get the gemplasm and uh, standardizing the AI is also a uh, very uh, typical and tri uh, tricky task in case of the goat and uh, how actually these are some of the intravaginal sponges we used to get uh, from the CIRG also. And uh, with that, actually, we did uh, this uh, successful artificial insemination uh, in the goat. And these are some of the photograph how Jay Kumar and uh, uh, actually team uh, doing the AI and all successfully. 
and this will be actually uh, just for the entrepreneurship or the entrepreneurs or the uh, farmers who are interested uh, to start a goat farming actually many farmers are uh, coming to our institute and uh, discussing with our uh, division and scientists also uh, what unit size actually we should go for, uh, to start a actually goat farm in this island as i said the farmer uh, the average plot size in the island is almost 13 and the range is 4 to 63 some of the actually farmer they are having uh, uh, 20 30 like that but uh, to, uh, the standard uh, we suggest to go for minimum uh, 20 or one uh, they can keep one is to 20 ratio or the 3 is to 50 ratio like that in this actually i am giving example of the how to go for suppose some of the uh, a farmer who are interested to uh, start in a big way like maximum capacity of the farm uh, to go up to the 200 and uh, they can start with the 50 female suppose 90 percent of the female will breed then in the first kidding 68 kills be, kidding will be born because the kidding actually a uh, frequency and the creating uh, rate is when we calculate it will come around uh, 1.4 or 1.5 so with that actually calculation it will come around 68 or the 70 also so uh, we can assume that uh, the, there will be a 50 percent male and the th uh, 50 percent female because sex ratio will be 50 uh, percent so 34 male and the 34 female so in the second year uh, uh, this initial flock that is the 50 so plus 34 so there will be 84 female in the breedable female available in the uh, second year and suppose 90 percent 10 percent uh, we are uh, uh, assuming that maybe because of uh, some uh, inbreeding or the, uh, some uh, some problem disease problem so we are taking 90 percent of the breedable population suppose it will be bred uh, with 1.5 uh, kidding rate so almost by end of the second year we can achieve 126 kids so like that actually if we go on uh, like that exponentially will uh, achieve more and more number of uh, uh, kids in the farm but as i said the maximum capacity of the farm is 200 because uh, uh, and uh, so by the end of second year farmer can start selling of the available male which can achieve the body weight of almost nine or the ten month so like this actually they can get a very good uh, return out of this uh, 50 plus 3 uh, formula and the maximum capacity of the 200 uh, goat we have already worked out this uh, uh, formula in the excel also and uh, uh, anybody interested uh, farmer to start the goat farming in a uh, big uh, we are the big enter uh, uh, enterprising uh, way they can uh, contact us and we can guide and suggest how to go for it so by the third year a total of initial suppose 50 adult female plus 34 plus 63 new female will be ready so by the end of the third year I can so from 130 to female 198 kids will be born at the end of the third year like that already we have uh, calculated so cell they can start at the end of the first cycle itself by getting under maturity like 34 male goat will be available for sale like that in second year 84 will be available at the end of the third year 99 mil, uh, male will be available so that they can maintain the stock of uh, 200 goat in the farm and uh, by end of the uh, second year uh, they can start uh, uh, selling 84 99 like that actually so housing what kind of housing actually here we suggest to go for the uh, like uh, same as per the standard is to waste uh, direction and uh, we are not advising to go for the very high cost shedding because generally we are advising to go for the local available uh, material but main thing it should be elevated type or the machan type or the race type and two side slopes should be uh, given the space requirement for the adult male is uh, generally 2.5 uh, 2 square meter female is 1.5 square meter grower also 0.75 and uh, they should have a one uh, compost uh, pit uh, for a collection of the uh, dung and uh, there we have actually prepared a rough sketch you can see here actually this is the actually diagram or the design for a, a 200 uh, Good capacity here you can see one adult uh, room grower room adult male room store room 
like that actually we have already prepared a actually design and layout also and flooring they can go for the slated flooring i can show here and this also the entrepreneurs uh, they want to take up this actually this is also a very good design you can see here they use uh, this slated flooring and the uh, uh, life of this slated flooring is very good almost 25 to 30 years uh, nothing will happen and easily they can uh, correct the dung in the urine it will pass uh, through that uh, uh, some uh, that perforation and easily to maintain also and uh, already a few farmers actually three or four farmers here they have adopted uh, this uh, technology and they are uh, rearing in a very good uh, scientific manner uh, this model is also uh, good actually uh, raised uh, platform uh, it should be uh, ventilated air should come uh, through from one side to other side and feed and fodder is as i said uh, this is one of the important uh, uh, part of a good uh, rearing generally uh, we should uh, we are advising 6 to 80 percent of the fiber type like the grass leaves or the hay or the straw and 20 to 40 percent should be concentrated feed and uh, plus six to seven hours of grazing, the, the, which is being practiced here in this island also. Uh, generally, adult goat actually they need one to 1.5 kilogram of the green feed plus 200 to 250 gram of the concentrated feed per day. And in the fence actually, in the suppose they, they want to set up a, this uh, goat farm, in the fence they can go for suba bull, jackfruit, people, noni, because uh, the, the goat can uh, feed on any kind of these uh, tree fodders, even such an, uh, that is the uh, mor uh, moringa. Even uh, Morinda citrifolia, that also Jindabali, Gliricidia, name. So, this kind of uh, plants they can uh, go in the fencing and fodder also. Some of the area they can go for the napier, lobia, maize, or etc. Uh, that can easily be grown under this climatic condition. And they can also uh, utilize the inter space available uh, between the ericanate and the coconut because the main, main part of the our agricultural land is occupied with the ericanate and the coconut. So with this ericanate and the coconut, we have already uh, demonstrated and established this technology to go for the product cultivation in between the intercrop. And open paddock should also be kept as uh, such for the grazing and movement of this uh, goat also. And salt and water is very important and mineral a mixture should be provided at uh, uh, daily to the goat because uh, it has been found that uh, soil are deficient of uh, uh, many of the important uh, micro uh, minerals and flushing is uh, generally advisable to go uh, for the uh, induction of the multiple ovulation and this is the uh, feeding schedule and you can uh, prepare the low cost ration also like here you can see here maize powder coconut uh, oil cake and coconut rice bran also the, his, this farmer is preparing like that farmer can go for low cost preparation otherwise they can go for the concentrated feed also but the, uh, they should not uh, give more than 250 to 300 gram per day and health management as i said uh, not much disease prevalent but uh, deworming is uh, very much uh, required actually as uh, mostly this uh, and the parasitic infestation is very high and uh, at least three month interval it should be given and pre monsoon is a must and dipping here again ectoparasitic infestation is very high mainly during the uh, summer month so uh, dipping with petox and other uh, uh, medicine is highly recommended and uh, mineral mixture is highly compulsory vitamin and other uh, supplementation uh, should be actually advisable and it is uh, and uh, provide, uh, suppose uh, some farmer is uh, bringing some animal from the outside, it should be kept under quarantine. And so these are the general health management practices. If they start to uh, follow, they can uh, rear a very good uh, herd. And diseases, as I said, actually endo and ectoparasite infestation, you can see here, ectoparasite, and this is the contagious ectoma or for diarrhea mostly because of this um, polybacillosis and the uh, clostridium and uh, bloat, uh, sometimes food rot also reported, plant poisoning also. Predator attack is very common here, mainly due to the dog. And seroprevalence also we have found that now the recent emergence of PPR, BT, leptospirosis. Although we have not uh, seen any clinical cases of this PPR and the BT, but the high seroprevalence is uh, alarming in this island. And uh, as I said, care of purchased animals, suppose some uh, farmer is uh, bringing some new animal, it should be kept under quarantine, uh, deworm first, dipping should be done, young kids should be protected from the possible exposure to extreme cold or the heat, we should provide a very good uh, housing and the management facility, B complex vitamin should be given. And uh, those also, uh, suppose some farmer want to actually select for the go, actually uh, see the good uh, health, uh, 
udder and other all already uh, set guidelines are available and for buck also this would go for the p degree and the good uh, uh, the, the size and uh, that uh, uh, scrotal also that uh, uh, so all, uh, almost uh, set criteria are uh, there for selection of the dose and the uh, bugs and uh, during pregnancy also as i said actually generally we should plan in such a way that we should get at least three feeding in two years uh, that's why to minimize the feeding interval time and uh, one actually generally uh, buck is sufficient for 40 but we are advising to go for 20 or the 25 so one buck is sufficient for 20 or 25 generally it should be rotated in a one or one and a half year or the one season uh, to uh, avoid the inbreeding or to reduce the inbreeding and uh, separate the young goat actually we should not keep the uh, male and the female together we should always uh, actually keep male and the female uh, separate in a separate uh, pain or the separate uh, room and they may attend the generally actually the goat they attain the maturity by six months but we should not allow the male to mate actually but when it attains almost eight to nine months then only we should uh, actually allow the uh, male bug to go for the mating that is the uh, appropriate age to go for the <coughs> breeding So care of the neonates, uh, this is colostrum is again a very important, actually, it, uh, we should allow the actually uh, neon uh, net or the kit to go for the feeding of the colostrum for at least uh, uh, four days, actually, this is a very important thing to boost the immunity or to generate the immune system. And uh, uh, these are some of the value addition, this uh, uh, courtesy from our Kerala unit. Uh, you can see from uh, goat, as I said, uh, cheese, paneer, a lot of other products are being actually prepared and Ayurvedic has got very good uh, demand in Kerala already on Ayurvedic. Uh, there are a lot of Ayurvedic uh, institutions are there where they actually purchase this goat uh, urine. They sell almost 10 to 15 rupees per liter goat urine to this Ayurvedic uh, institution and they are preparing medicine out of that uh, urine and even dung also. And you can see some of the photographs courtesy from the Kerala unit. And you can see a list of the Ayurveda uh, preparation prepared from the goat meat, goat milk, goat uh, urine. So a lot of medicines are there. So uh, that's why a lot of uh, value addition we can start actually. And you can see the manure also has got uh, very good NPK when we compare to the other uh, livestock like cow, horse, swine, uh, even rabbit and the chicken. The NPK is quite uh, almost 1 to 1.5. Uh, more uh, actually uh, than the other livestock you can see so uh, good opportunity is there for starting entrepreneurship like multiplier flock concept also this is again a uh, good concept actually suppose anybody wants to start a because a, a lot of demand is there for the breedable uh, buck actually suppose somebody wants to start a multiplier flock uh, they can uh, uh, start with the good uh, jamplasm of the do as well as good jamplasm of the work uh, through this actually multiplier uh, flock uh, a concept they can generate a uh, flow of the good quality uh, work and they can sell this work to the other farmer and the other uh, fellow colleagues of the stakeholders also because for a meat purpose uh, they can actually charge uh, other price and for breedable actually uh, value or the breedable bug they can get a very good return out of this multiplier flock concept uh, with that concept already we have uh, we are promoting few farmers and we are encouraging farmers to start uh, this multiplier flock concept already a few farmers as i said actually uh, we can say that the entrepreneurs they have started this concept and uh, they are uh, doing very good in this island and uh, this is the investment as i said uh, supposed to start the 22 plus one almost 2.65 lakh to include all the capital cost and the uh, livestock cost and uh, they can get uh, a return and the value you can see in this by end of first year second year third year so within two or the three years uh, they can easily double the income by adopting this multiplier flock concept or the scientific uh, goat farming whether it is uh, 20 plus one formula or 50 plus three with that model actually they can easily double the uh, uh, income 
and uh, within three or the four years we have already proved and we have already established that within uh, uh, five years they can get very good return and uh, the income can easily be double and triple with that so finally i can say goat uh, is the future animal not only for the rural but it is for the urban prosperity also because in urban also it's uh, coming on in a very good manner and uh, backyard goat rearing is steadily turning as the fast growing livestock industry in the country so with this uh, my presentation is uh, now uh, finished thank you very much